Uh, good day, everyone. Welcome back. We're here at uh, Nonna's Kitchen with Sofia and we have Eduardo. They're all keen for today's um, cooking lesson, and we're doing the, uh, uh, the white sauce uh, artichokes. Artichokes are just starting to be in season now in spring, and we've got um, everything just about ready. We're gonna Hold on, Sophia, one second. We're going to do a quick little list of the ingredients. So we have 125 uh, mils of water. Uh, we've got Parmesan cheese, uh, 40 grams. 40 grams of onion. 40 grams of, uh, sorry, four grams of parsley. It's actually five grams of parsley. We've got the pen there. Uh, and the olive oil, uh, we need about um, 80 mils of olive oil. So parsley, parmesan, olive oil, onion, and two grams of salt. So as usual, we always start off with um, the, the pan here. We've got a little bit of olive oil in there already. Yeah, onion. So now we put the onion. And a little bit of garlic. G'day Anna and Eva, and if you guys have any questions, I'll try to catch them uh, as I'm doing the video. So yeah, don't hesitate. Nonna really loves the questions. Okay, so we start off. Just doing a slight cook. Okay, now we just briefly cut these artichokes uh, to get the show rolling. So we're gonna, Nana's gonna put the um, artichokes in. Oh, thanks Paul, I appreciate the comment. Yes, it is us with the pasta. <laughs> if you've got some left over, Paul, this really comes out really nice. So a little trick, a little bit of water and just keep stirring. So it needs a little bit of water so we can um, get the cooking started. A pinch of salt. Now with the artichokes, um, a lot of people actually just use the head of the artichokes, which um, it becomes a bit of a waste if you cut the stem because the stem, if you get it fresh, the stem actually is just as good as the head actually. I prefer the stem to be honest. Well, I'm going to show you real quickly. We've saved one and uh, Nona's going to show you how she cooks it. We're going to show you quickly now how to, um, how to clean the artichokes. So you take the outer, because they're a little bit hard and spiky. I mean, it's like a thistle, really. So we took that bigger stem out, because that was a little bit too hard. But this is a soft part. Now, artichokes um, were actually spotted firstly in, um, in Sicily. So that's where they originally originated, then it made its way up, up north. And uh, with anything, really, um, that's really nice. I'll be a little bit biased. It started from the south and then it worked its way up. You want to, not understand that uh, you want to cook just the, the actual soft part of the artichoke. So everything that's a little bit hard, you want to get it out. Some people actually try to keep the last little bit of uh, the leaves there, but there's no need. Sometimes, 
Now it will mange. Kiddo no, kiddo, 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 kiddo. Yeah. Sometimes it's saying if the artichokes is a little bit, uh, if it started to flower uh, inside, it, it's, you'll see the flower. So you normally cut that out and you throw mm -hmm. that out. But this is a really nice fresh artichoke. Uh, and the trick is you put them straight into the water with a little bit of lemon, that way you stop them from going uh, black. Now there's a lot of chefs in here, so we've got to make sure that uh, we keep everything in perspective. Hey Costa, how are you mate? I haven't seen you for a while. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we'll show you how we we'll quickly cut them. Thin, very thin. So very thin. I'm gonna say that this actually cook really quick. So we've got water already starting to boil. Yep, we're gonna put the pasta now. Now artichokes, uh, look, because like I said before, it's the season coming on now. Um, normally when you live in a little village, you know, people actually wait for the markets to come to the village. So once a week you get the local uh, growers that will come in and, um, and set up the stalls. Uh, the supermarkets, and this is in generally through, throughout Europe in the regional areas, um, the supermarkets was more like as a last resort. No one really went to the supermarkets uh, all the time like we do here in Australia, but it's the supermarkets that are killing, unfortunately, these smaller growers. Uh, but yeah, in Italy, I remember when I was growing up there, the, um, the markets was the big deal. Everyone just got set up and bought everything that they would need for the, for the whole week. And you never bought too much because, you know, you wanted to make sure that uh, by the next week, you had something really nice and fresh. So I'm just going to lift this up, see how it's looking. Uh, and in Australia, look, it's slowly now starting to happen where the local growers, like we like to go mainly in uh, Ramsgate. There's some nice providors there, or some local growers, I should say, that they're doing a great job. Um, and they're providing some really beautiful um, uh, fresh produce. And the way those growers grow stuff is a lot different to the bigger guys that have to supply the chains, the big supermarket chains. Okay. So we're still waiting for the pasta to cook a little bit more. If they're slowly cooking, you can also add a little bit, still add a little bit more water. Oh, I'm just reading a comment here from Sean. Uh, to come to the local growers in uh, Grafton. I'd love to. I was only there about a month ago. Uh, we, we, we actually got some uh, native bees there. Beautiful area. Okay, no, no, they did a sneaky trial with a pasta, and Sophia wasn't happy. But you've got to be quick here, Sophia. Yeah. Now, later, we're going to do something special as well for the kids, and there's a trick that we do how to actually get them started eating artichokes. Now, if you give an artichoke to, you know, to a one- or two-year-old, they're not going to go for it. But there's a little trick that we do uh, and they absolutely love it. Now, in the southern part of Italy, um, or actually even up the north to some extent, we have the wild artichokes. And uh, for those people that haven't seen it, they're really small, tiny little artichokes, extremely spiky, very hard to gather, but once you actually get them and you clean them and you pickle them, they have one of the most beautiful flavour. Okay. 
Okay, the fresh pasta, the fresh penne, always, you know, two or three minutes max. I like a little bit harder, but because Nick might be coming over in a short time, mum makes it a little bit soft for him. Okay, now straight into the pot there, and we mix it up a little bit. The artichokes is um, very good with vitamin and, uh, and it's super big with um, iron intake. Mm -hmm. Little taste sample there from Sophia. Got the go ahead, yes. Now the parmesan cheese, you just sprinkle that all over. That's it, and And believe it or not, now that's it. Very quick, easy meal to do. <laughs> and that's for five people now. Now, I couldn't get a hold of Nick all day. Now, I bet she's going to show up any second now, now that he knows this is uh, on. Oh, okay, we forgot to put a little bit of the, uh, the parsley. Never too late. <laughs> Sophia likes it when Nonna makes a mistake. <laughs> Now we're going to start doing the um, the frittata boy. The, the they're called um, frittelle, the fritters. Now you got to cut them really, really thin. So this is for the little ones. If you want to introduce the little ones to these beautiful um, vegetables. And the kids absolutely love them. They can't help it. Even if they can taste or, or smell something a little bit different, the fritters are always the go-to for the kids. I hate you hate them? I bet you're going to eat it. So the, we had the flour. So that was uh, 65 grams of flour. Then we'll put a bit of olive oil in the pan. Let's have a look at Sophia. No. Hello. Hello. So just as, a, as much as to cover the, the base, Now Nan is mixing that up. Mm. I'm saying this is just mainly again for the little ones, but also um, the, the big kids will have a go at it for sure. You can make them a little bit more, um, a bit more liquidy if you like, but um, let's see what she's going to do. Yep, she's going to add a little bit more water to make them a little bit more runny. Sophia's got Nonna's disease, she lost to do everything really quick. So I'm saying you make this with, um, you can make them with uh, asparagus or zucchini. It's the best way to introduce the little ones.
There we go. Now we just watch them. Won't take long to get these guys going. E vi dico che le cose dei dolci, non ci mette super poi. Anche Skype non c'era per per prima e seconda, no? Per un po' più cominci. These ones are also you can use them as um, you can make these to as a starter. Or if you're going to a picnic, you make them and then you can bring them with you. So now we're just, uh, what Non is doing there on the plate, putting a little bit of napkins there so we can drain the oil. Now these eggplants, um, they also work well with, with um, you know, stuffing them with beef or other vegetables, braising, stewing, frying, grilling, just to name a few. They're very versatile. Yeah, the risotto, which comes really special. Now, th there was a saying where if you wanted to actually do a test how fresh the artichokes were, is if you rub two artichokes together um, and if they did a squeak, then you'd know that they were fresh. So you had to listen for the squeak. And if you heard it, yeah, buy them straight away because they knew they were really fresh. Also the stem, if the stem is very hard, um, they, they've been on the, on the actual plant for too long and you, know, you don't wanna get a, an artichoke that's too hard. But now guys, keep an eye out on the supermarkets or or more in, um, or more importantly in the markets, try to support the local growers, the little guys that are doing a little bit tough. Um, you know, the only thing that I would like to see more of is if they, um, if the pricing of the organic produce can drop down a little bit, I mean, it, it, they're virtually pricing themselves out of the market at the moment. Um, but we need to, um, you know, still to support them. And if we get more growers involved, then hopefully they'll be a lot more beneficial for everyone. Yeah, yeah, Nonna's just trying to say again about the, uh, how they're rich in iron. Very, very good for the vegetarians. They've got to be nice and red. Now, this is another good little um, snack with a little bit of red wine to get you started while you wait for the main. Dessert. Well, it can be done for dessert. It's dessert for the young ones. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna show the surprise in a second. Now, Sophia can't wait, she wants to show a lot of... <laughs> and other, what do you wanna show? Anything special? These guys are getting a, a good tutoring now. Like Sophia is getting very accomplished now with the cooking, and uh, my wife's very jealous at the moment. She's getting all these beautiful little tricks. And Sophie's only nine, so she'll be very handy very soon. Although I'm very lucky, two two cooks now at home, and and a half. We've got Eduardo in the background. Two and a half cooks now. Are they ready? They're nearly ready. You want to get them nice and uh, round. Ah, uh, red. Sorry. How are they looking, Eduardo? <laughs> yeah, the one that is very handy at, at eating, and he's a taster, that's right. Now these guys don't want to miss on a cooking lesson every Thursday. They do their homework, make sure they're ready, um, do some of the little chores, and then they want to come to Nonna. And this is where they participate in the lesson, 
uh, with a reward afterwards. And as you can see, they don't want to do iPads or anything like that. They're just here looking what's going on. They're just curious and they're part of the cooking show. But the one is more uh, looking, he's more concentrating on the end product. Now we can see a little bit more color coming through. Now some new faces here. Oh, got a Lisa. Lisa Jenny. Oh. Ciao, Lisa. There you go. <laughs> Okay, look, here we go. Now they're getting ready. Now, the reason why they're getting a little bit restless is there's a reason. Now, again, you heard of the word that before he said, yuck, he didn't like these. I said with Oh, with artichoke, sorry, that's right. Oh, with eggplant, oh, okay. Oh, artichokes, okay. He doesn't like artichokes and he doesn't like eggplants. So for today's purpose, these are white eggplants. Yeah, let's start with Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Okay, one second, Eduardo, I'm going to come. Now, this is Eduardo's show now. This is where Eduardo takes over. Now... We'll get the hundreds and thousands. And this is only obviously just for the kids. Oh, here you go. He doesn't really want to muck around. Now. <laughs> now, he saw what was in it. And you see he doesn't like it. But they absolutely love it. And it becomes their little creation. How are they, Eduardo? All right? It's good? You're gonna show them how you how you eat one, but don't don't lean on the plate either. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, they don't really know or care to be honest about the artichokes. Just a little trick, they love it, and it's good for them too. Oh, I don't understand that the other grandson, Sebastian, a very picky and fussy eater. Um, you know, my sister said that his, her, her son would never touch anything like this. Uh, but now when he comes in, that's all he's asking for now. He just can't get enough. And there you see, self, self-serve. Sorry? They're good? Oh, we've got Chiara. Hello, Chiara. How are you? Uh, some people put, um, you know, the egg and parmesan, but when you put the egg, they don't come that crunchy and crispy. So that's the reason why um, yeah, they blow up a bit and they come puffy. Now, this was supposed to be for their desserts, but they've snuck it in. And this is for illustration purposes, I guess. So for this video illustrations, they're just having it now before uh, dinner. That's our dinner there coming up. But um, he snuck in one, and I think that's his second one now, the one. Is that right? Is that your second one? How come you're doing two now? Okay, well, that's it, guys. Thank you again for watching. We've had another good time, another good session. Thank you, Sophia. And Eduardo is there. Say so thank you, everyone. Thank you. Enjoy it. And uh, yeah, we've got now a nice meal to attend to. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good day. Bye bye.